Hutchins out of the backfield. And Mangum fires, and a strike is caught by Dax Mill, a true freshman. Shumway, the intended receiver at the for finding those open areas. Love steps up, throws, a catch is made at the 11, but well short of the sticks by Darwin Thompson. On first down from the 48 of Utah State, and Mangum looks to throw, dumps it off right at midfield, and that's Katoa out of the backfield. He is met and tackled. Third and 10, Mangum looking left, throws wide open, and he hits Micah Simon. He's brought down right near the sticks. Hefo motions far side. Fakes the handoff, and it's picked off. Threw it right into the hands of the defender, Nalei. He's headed the other way and strutting into the end zone. Touchdown, Aggies. Tipa Nalei. Scrimmage, Nalei. He's going to fight off the block, then get his eyes up and get his hands up, and does a great job of avoiding blue jerseys as he runs into the end zone. That's just having awareness and being disciplined. Mangum this time goes far side and take it at the 29. Hefo, he's quickly Gives it to Katoa, trying to bounce it outside, nowhere to go. Love looks near side, Green the catch, first down to the 41. Football back. Love passes, and he's got him! There he goes! Terrell, the tight end, inside the 10, first in. Bright comes in motion. They fake the handoff to him. Love, under pressure, throws back, and all alone, there's Bright. Touchdown. I think you're daring him to go over the top. Mangum fires, caught for the first down at the 42. That's and second down. And 14, that's off the hands of Holker, that is. Bounds. Yeah, he thought he had a chance to get this football. Good strip of the football by Woodard. Boy, it sure looks like he had possession there. The fumble was recovered inbounds by a member of Utah State. Love out to Bright. Gets a block on the edge, but that was ripped through by St. Anderson. Watch his left hand get right there yep. on the face mask. There it is. You see the slight turn of the head left and downward. I hear. Throws to the end zone, Tarver juggling and hangs on. Hefo, bottom of the screen. Here comes that pressure, Mangum being chased, slings it as... He's arguably one of the most efficient quarterbacks in the country. That's well read though, no place to go for Aaron Vaughns, who's gonna lose rates. Only four shy of 500 touchdowns in his career. Mangum fires and out of reach. The flag fly. Holding, number 48, defense. He's total. Mangum stepping up, looking around. Fires and incomplete. There's a flag deep in the secondary. Holding, number 25, defense. Reverse, Katoa now comes back. Mangum, deep shot for Heepo, has to wait on it, and then he is interfered with by Aaron. Pass interference. Number seven, defense. Mangum fires on the slant. It's complete. Micah Simon, first down to the 35 of Utah. Simon in motion. They fake the handoff under pressure. Throws. Hits the tight end. Actually, that's to that game. It's just three, second and seven. And again, across the middle, and he finds. Hefo, first down near the best drive so far tonight for BYU, a first down at the 19 of the Aggies. Mangum across the middle and connects again for Hefo at the five. First and Hefo in motion. Mangum rolling out, fires, caught, Katoa, and a badly needed touchdown for BYU. Love dumps it down. Thompson breaks a tackle at the 30. 
Lowers his shoulder at the 35, fights his way to the 36. And has Tanner Mangum at quarterback for BYU. He's done a nice job of really controlling the tempo of the game, especially in that last drive. He was five of six, gets BYU in the end zone, feeds off of that defensive momentum that was gathered late in that second quarter, but he found most of his success down the middle of the field. You can see the start wasn't what he wanted. Yards at BYU, he's the total different Cougar quarterback to reach that mark, and he's throwing on first down, and it's caught by Bushman, who turns up field at the 30. Mango slings it here to the near side. Gunnar Romney with his first catch of the night. Twisted out of. It is a first down for BYU at their 46. And it's Mango deflected, but it's caught by BYU's Mango, who just it looked like it went off two different Aggies before Mango came down with it. He's got plenty of time. He's going to take a deep shot to the far side, a sliding attempt, and a flag out late. Pass interference, number two, defense. The key to this. BYU a first down at the 37. They have two timeouts. Just over 40 seconds left. Dumps it down. Katoa right near the marker. 43, 44 yard field goal. If they gain nothing from here, and that's pretty much what the case is. The inside half. Good snap. It's away. It's got the distance, but goes wide right. 40. So he did everything he needed to do from the pocket. Love on first down, taking a deep shot, his man's got it, oh, drops! Here's the handoff to Thompson. Oh, and Thompson powers his way across the 30, all the way. Starting tight end was having his right hand looked at. Made in that first half. There's another run, breaking through, Thompson! It's a race, Thompson stumbled a bit, and then he gets pulled down from behind at the 15. For seven and a half yards per carry. Give to Bright, uses a stiff arm to the outside, inside the five, stepped out before. On second and goal, throws to the end zone, a tumbling catch, and touchdown, Jalen Green. Number four. I think your mic may cut out there for a moment, Quint, but yeah, Squally Canada out. Here's a throw on first down, a wide open at the 30. Bushman, all the way up to... Toa motioned out. Mangum, his throw is a strike and a throw to the 38. So on third and long this time, Mangum incomplete for field and found the end zone on their first drive of the half. Bright gives it to Vaughn. They reverse it. He's across the 35, 40, and all the way up to midfield. Spun around there. Not down until he hits. Down to two. Got it off just in time. Love fires into the arms of Thompson. Wow. And he has the first down. Why not? Yeah, they I got all the momentum. Exactly. Going to take a fade into the end zone. Tarver. Touchdown. Mangum taking a deep shot on first down. Hefo had a step on incomplete at the 25. Well, Hefo might have had that. And that would have been a huge play for BYU. Mangum surveying, looking. Where's he going to go with it? He's going to let one fly deep and caught at the 30. Talon Shumway. 36. Here's the pitch. Katoa falls forward to about the 12. Mangum looks. Is there going to be a flag? You bet. Pass interference. Number four, defense. Mangum picked. Beaver with great timing and put a hand on the football. That's mm. excellent defense. Mangum chased out of the pocket, throws to the end zone. He's got his man there. Touchdown. Dylan Colley. Skyler South and point after hits the upright. No good. Position. We'll hand off to Darwin Thompson. He'll be stopped at the 20. This drive begins at the 38 for BYU. And Mangum comes off the screen. Katoa.
Mangum. Out to Dax Mill. He'll have a first down up to midfield. Mangum steps up, fires under through Shumway, but he is able to slide, caught that ball. Looks to be the final play. Loose football. And Rockamore gets his revenge. If you play momentum they were trying to find in this second half. Rockamore, he's the guy on the spot at that linebacker the with the a big quarter. turnover to head into the fourth quarter. Love stands tall, throws a strike, and it's complete to Jalen Green. First down up to the, to the short side of the field. 19-yard gain. Fakes the handoff to Bright. Finds Vaughn's down the sideline. He keeps going. Touchdown. Nope, they're going to mark him out at the 15. Out of the field, the run pass option. It's pitter-patter. Does he step out of bounds? I don't, I don't know. See it. I, don't... I don't know. I don't see it. He does just that. <laughs> out of wood, um, you basically you steam either like a long board like you steam broccoli? Kind of like you steam broccoli. Clint, you're always eating. You want it, you went right to the broccoli. There's Shumway with a catch. He fights for a first down. The, 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 I was going to ask you more about your antiquing, but we'll save that for later. Dumps it underneath. There's the screen. Lapini Katoa, loose ball, but BYU jumps back. Officials ruled, so they spot it at the 46. Mangum. Gets away from Woodward, throws to the sideline incomplete. Mangum looking for Kali incomplete, and BYU will turn it over on downs. Mangum took a shot a couple of years ago. Actually, it's been four years now, 2014, which ended a streak of 17 straight losses for the Aggies in Provo. And it means something winning it back to back for Utah State, that's for sure. If they can close it out with. Just under 10 minutes left to go. Thompson does the hurdle again. At the clock. Comes to the near side. Thompson. And a first down still fighting. Ippo State. This one certainly has the distance. And he knocks that one through. I think what they've done, they've been a little different on third down. We've seen them... Uh, as Megan here throwing on first down. Catch made at the 29. Played more vanilla, and they've been stout against the run. There's pressure put on, and a juggle incomplete so, in, 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 in that realm. Like, Catch like, by Kali. No, it's dropped. You know, we talked like, about how important up. Third and long, dump up a screen pass. But misfiring, incomplete the turnovers. They've done a great job of setting the tempo. Nalei started it off with this interception and turning into a running back, and then the, the force fumble over the middle. It was David Woodard who punches it out. Christy Anson jumps on the football right in front of the BYU bench and set a perfect field position. And John Terrell Rockamore, he's been in to really frustrate. All of that left, love. Finds the open man underneath. Surprised with the ease of being able to force Tanner Mangum around and, and really frustrate him in the offensive backfield. Zach Wilson now in his in that offensive backfield. 270 passing yards for Mangum with two TDs. And the one pick. And there's the quarterback, Zach Wilson, taken off. That gives the Cougar crowd a thrill, a nice run. 42, a 27-yard gallop. Well, offensive coordinator Jeff Grimes said he had a strong arm. We didn't know he could move like this in the open field. That's a good shake and bake right about at midfield and gets a big gain. By the way, the 46 pass attempts tonight for Mangum, the most he's attempted in a game since his freshman year. Mangum attempted 53 passes in a game his freshman year against UConn and taking his shot. Zach Wilson broken up inside the 10 and a flag. Pass interference, number 27, defense. Get away from those pass interference penalties that continue to keep drives alive. Wilson. The pass is caught. 
Comes to the near side. Gunner Romney inside the five. Touchdown. Getting the ball out on time, getting it in a spot where Gunnar Romney can do something with it, and then eluding two defenders from Utah State in the open. The onside kick. Flag, I think one of the BYU players was offside. There's a lot to be seen tonight. No, that is not a player that's gone into the stands. That uh, gentleman who wears <laughs> the uniform has been there since uh, before the game started. Pre-game. Yeah, you, heavy, you rolled it by yourself. About, uh, you don't lift it up by yourself. It weighs about 200 pounds. There we go. Now the old wagon wheel in one way or another is going to be rolled, driven, carried back to Logan, Utah for the second straight year. Oh, great time for celebration for Matt Wells and his football team. They were dominant in all three facets tonight. Definitely a dominating performance tonight for Utah State. They win it over BYU 45 to 20. Sports Center coming up next. That's going to take care of things from here. For John Kajimi, Quint Kesnick, as well as our entire crew, I'm Mark Dealey. Thanks for sharing this one with us. Good night for Provo.